Hey there, do-it-yourself technicians. COVID-19 is forcing a lot of teachers to rethink the way they teach and push their courses online. I'm here to help resource teachers. Today we're going to talk about video editing on mobile. Welcome to our midweek episode on editing video on your smartphone. Video editing is hard. I know, I've been editing these videos weekly for over 18 months now. I'm completely self-taught. I've learnt what I needed to know when I needed to know it and just winged the rest. My initial idea for today's episode was to review several of the free and inexpensive video editing apps out there that might be really useful for teachers. At the same time, I want to get this video out really quickly and the two don't actually match that well, so I've decided to split it up. Learning anything but the most basic video editing package takes a lot of work and time. So doing several of them in less than a week just wasn't going to happen. So I've decided to split off the desktop editors and I'll catch them in a later video that you can see linked up here. Today I'm just going to concentrate on editing your video on your mobile phone, which is often the place that it's shot. It's still not going to be a detailed review. I'll mention a few different apps, both inexpensive and free, and leave it to you to decide which one looks like it'll work the best for you. It all depends on what your goals are. If you just want to trim a recorded clip to get rid of the starting and ending where you pressed record and then walked up to the front and then walked back to hit stop at the end, you can probably do that with the built-in video editing components in the camera app of your smartphone. If you want scrolling text, swanky titles and sound effects, then you're probably going to have a different need and a different answer. Apple Clips, which you can see up here, is a companion editor to the built-in camera app on the iPhone. It gives the ability to add colour filters, text, stickers and emojis, as well as adding captions by speaking over the playback. It works quite well and does all of these things simply but well. It will take a little bit of getting used to it first, but if you persevere, you'll find yourself without a problem in no time at all. The second app that I want to talk about is called InShot. It's a free base app with paid extras available. The free version can do quite a lot of work though. You can trim, cut, split, and add basic transitions. You can add text and there's literally dozens of other options. And you get all of the basics for free with the option to add packs of additions or a monthly subscription for everything. This one is ad supported, so there's an ad at the top of the screen, which is a little annoying, but you know, that's how they get paid for a free app. Again, it's fairly intuitive to use, like most phone apps, and even though what you're doing is quite complicated, you can work through it reasonably well if you're willing to persevere. As I said, even without the paid editions, you can get quite a lot done with this app. The last app that I want to look at is Adobe Rush, which is basically a cut-down version of Adobe's Premiere Pro, designed for the small screen. It is a full-featured editor in your pocket. The only downsize is the starter edition only lets you export three videos and after that you need to upgrade. The upgrade price is a relatively steep $14.99 per month. The good news is, is that if you own an Adobe Creative Cloud license that entitles you to use the full version of Rush. This includes many businesses which own a Creative Cloud license and government departments, especially education, tend to have volume licenses that they've purchased for all their staff and sometimes even students. I know here in Victoria, Australia, any teacher with a at education.vic.gov.au email address is able to use that as their Adobe ID to log in and get full access. Students can get access in the same way with their EduPass details. Using the software is pretty good. There's all of the standard features you'd expect along the bottom and you can add in your clips and manage and edit them as you see fit. I'm not going to teach you how to use it. There's probably other tutorials that are better at that. I just wanted to introduce you to the product. Today, I've spoken about three different apps, but there are literally hundreds, thousands more in the App Store and Android as well that will do different things to video depending on what you want. If you find something that's really cool and works for you, let me know about it in the comments down below. That way everyone can see it and we all learn something. The Tech Doctor exists to help you become your own technician and navigate your technology maze. And I'm here to help resource teachers to bring their teaching online. You can see some older videos you might not have seen before here and here. 
and you can subscribe by clicking down here and never miss another episode. Thank you so much for watching and have a great day.